Today I'm going to show you in depth the way I like to do long exposure landscape photography with the Nikon D850. Firstly, when it comes to long exposure, you're going to need a good firm foundation. Just like I've got here, I've framed up, I've got these trees in the foreground as well as another set of trees going off in the background. I've got my camera secure on a tripod. There is a little tiny bit of a wind blowing and I'm not too concerned about it. But if you are going to take a long exposure in strong wind, I actually have made a video on that and I'll leave that up here for you to check out a bit later on. If you don't have a tripod, then make sure you have the camera secured, like whether it's wedged between two rocks or a log. Always make sure you've got a firm foundation to begin with because you can have the best long exposure settings on your camera, but if that camera is moving, then it's just not gonna work. Let's just go into the back menu of the D850 and just change a few things or make sure that a few things are set on the camera icon under the menu. Where the little camera icon is, just come across and scroll down firstly and let's make sure that we're shooting in RAW. So we just need to go to image quality and yes, we're shooting in RAW, plus I've got a basic JPEG there, um, as well as just scroll down and we're gonna see long exposure NR and I've got it switched to on. Now, a lot of photographers like to have that off and fix up noise in post-production. I get great results out of it, so I like to leave it on. Next, we're just gonna come up to the top of the camera and we're just gonna make sure we're shooting in M or manual mode. So just hit on mode and just with your back thumb, just scroll through until you get to M. Shooting in manual mode gives us greater control over our aperture and our exposure time. Also, we need a low ISO. I'm shooting an ISO 64. By shooting in a low ISO, something like ISO 64 or 100, that keeps the noise down in the final image. Now I have had subscribers contact me and say that they're still having trouble with some focus in their long exposure shots with the D850. There can be a couple of reasons for this. What you need to do is make sure that you're using back button autofocus. So to do that, firstly, you need to come into your menu and scroll down to where it says um, autofocus. So on the autofocus, just scroll down to where it says AF activation and turn that to AF on only. So what will happen is that shutter button will then just become a button for basically just taking pictures instead of half depressing it and you're getting a focus. Because when you half depress it and you're doing a long exposure and you've got a filter in the front of the camera, the camera can hunt for focus. So that could be one reason. Another reason is because maybe you're using a lens that has the VR or vibration reduction on it. Make sure that that's turned off because that can actually affect the final image if you do have that vibration reduction on. If you're going over 30 seconds in exposure, you're going to need something like this. This is a shutter release cable. Now, a little tip, these are quite cheap on eBay. I picked this up for about 10 US dollars. Um, it does just as good a job as the brand name. So save yourself a little bit of money there. If you are going over 30 seconds, you're gonna to have to switch the camera into a thing called bulb mode. What that does is allow you to keep the shutter open for as long as what you want. So I've got my frame or composition here on the back of the D850 and I'm using Live View. I like to actually use the Live View screen a lot on the D850 because it has that touch focus capability where I can just basically touch on the screen. It gives me that instant point of where I want to focus. Over on the right hand side of the screen, I've got my exposure indicator. Now, just pressing the info menu and it'll give me my little histogram as well. Now at the moment, just down the side here, you can see that it's about, oh, say about a half a stop overexposed. I'll go and tell you why I'm doing that a little bit later on. Let's talk about f-stops. I'm using f11. Now f11 for this particular lens gives me very sharp images, as well as it gives me a good depth of field. In other words, everything will be in focus.
After getting my exposure shutter speed from the back of the camera, I like to use the free Lee Filters app, which I have on my phone here. And what I'll do is calculate basically how long I need to have the shutter open for. So in this case, I'm shooting at about one eighth of a second at F11 ISO 64. So just scrolling through here, what I'll do is I end up with two minutes. So I need to have that shutter open for two minutes to get the spot on exposure that I need. Now just a little tip, when it comes to sunrise and sunset long exposures, on the sunrise long exposures, I like to underexpose anything from a half to three quarters of a stop. The same when it comes to sunsets, I like to overexpose half to three quarters of a stop. The reason being is that while you've got the long exposure happening, the sky during sunrise is actually getting brighter. So that's going to affect your exposure. As well as when the sunset's happening, the sky is actually getting darker. So you need to have that little tiny bit of compensation that'll help give you that perfect exposure for your shot. Okay, so now it comes time for the all important thing and that is adding the filter. I'm using a Lee filter big stopper. This is a 10 stop ND filter. And what that does is actually stops down 10 stops of light. Simply just add it into the front, the very front section here. Now, be very careful. The focus ring on the back of the Nikon lenses, you might bump that. That has caught me out with long exposures before. So just be very careful when you're sliding this in, not to touch that focus ring. So we'll just push it down nice and gently. And we're pretty much set and we're ready to take the shot. The very last thing we need to do is close off the optical viewfinder on the back of the D850. You just simply close the eyepiece here and that stops any stray light coming in, down through the eyepiece and onto your sensor. So we've got everything set up, we've got our app ready, we've got our shutter release cable, let's do it. Okay, so we're just coming into the last few seconds and there's our shot. Well guys, thank you so much for watching. I really hope this helps you out when it comes to your long exposure landscape photography with the Nikon D850. Never stop creating and I'll see you next time.